Maria. We, we have no food. It's gone. It's all gone. It's all, it's all gone. Nothing. We, we have nothing. Get out. <laughs> How can this be that tonight of all nights these beggars would show up and threaten my delights? Gladys grabbed the air spray as she wasn't beyond admitting. She was glad to get rid of the smell he was omitting. Unnerved just a bit, Gladys poured out some tea. She said, I must steady my nerves if I'm to meet royalty. <laughs> when only a moment or two had elapsed, Miss Amplehurst answered the door and collapsed. <laughs> Quick to recover, Gladys jumped to her feet. And to this sick creature said a voice not so sweet. Who are you? What do you want? I was just in the car accident and I was sick. Yeah? You know I feel uh, what? 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 No, get up. Get up. You must leave. I'm waiting for a king. You're not a king. Can I just see the phone? Get, get, go, go. The events of this evening seem so completely absurd that Miss Amplehurst, well, she never had a bird. It would be impossible to welcome this king or duke unless she could get rid of this pile of puke. What else could go wrong? This simply can't be. Don't these people know who I am? His Majesty chose me. A knock at the doorway gave Gladys a fright. She swung wide the door, not expecting this sight. There stood a man with a disheveled appearance, an ex-convict, just perfect. What does he want, royalty clearance? Who are you? What do you want? I was in jail that night. You'd be quite happy about it. So? I'm waiting for a king. You're not a king. You have to go. Get up, get out. Get, get, get. <laughs> Our lady in question didn't know what to think. Her hopes for the evening were beginning to sink. Something inside her was feeling uneasy. Had she done the right thing? She was feeling so queasy. And then in a twinkling, a little light did shine. And an angel appeared who was clearly divine. The angel told Gladys about her real worth and reminded her of the humility of Jesus Christ's birth. They talked to the visitors, and God's Spirit helped her see. What you do for the least of these, you do it for me. Gladys now realized the error of her ways, and she knelt on her knees and started to pray. It's always amazing what God can redeem. We must remember Christ's birth was completely supreme. How God made the end from Christ's humble beginning, which would offer us freedom from a life full of sinning. I was a stranger. 
Thank you. 